What's going on guys? It's Ryan Tamzoli here and welcome back to another episode of my channel. So week one of my rehabilitation done, I'm now into week two um, and I'm actually back starting the week with another scan again. It's just to check the progress I'll be making on my hamstring, hopefully I'll be making some good strides. So I'm actually at the hospital now. The scan will last about half an hour, get the results later today keep our fingers crossed like i said i actually hate being injured when you're injured your days are so long you're in first you're home last you can't train with the boys you don't travel to the away games and you just miss it so let's get inside now and uh let's keep our fingers crossed for some good news today all right so scan done it's only around 25 minutes this time Got to wait for the results as per usual. Um, radiologist will probably send that over to the physio today. Hopefully we've been making some good process. Be nice to um, be able to train in the next couple of weeks. And hopefully I won't have to be back here anytime soon. See you later. So I'm just having my breakfast guys. I had my scan yesterday and I actually got some really good news from the physio. He called me late last night and he said that um, the tear is healing really well. Way better than we first suspected, um, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. You know, it means that I can now start ramping up my rehab, um, start actually loading the hamstring itself. So yeah, I'm gonna get myself in today. We're actually off. The boys are up in Rotherham, they've got a game. Um, but I'm gonna get myself in, do some extra work. You know, I've got that extra motivation now to really push on and um, try and get myself back for the last few games of the season. So I'm gonna have my breakfast and then I'm gonna head into the training ground. Hello. Are you right, mate? Could I get one chai tea latte, please, with soy milk and no water? What size? Just a medium will do. Anything else? Yeah, and can I get an oat milk latte with peppermint, please? That'll be a medium as well, please, mate. Amazing. Anything else? Nah, that's good. Thank you. Top man. Drive down, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Bye. So now you've had more information about your injury and you think you're going to be back sooner, when are you thinking you're actually going to get back out on the pitch? I think I'll be back out there in maybe like two or three weeks. That's actually, that's, that's training though, with the lads. I think I'll have to do like a week of training, make sure I get through that okay. Do you know what it is? You can't push it too quickly because you just break down again and I've done it before with hamstring injuries. They're one of them things where you've got to get, you've got to find the right balance of um, pushing them enough but not overdoing it because you'll just injure yourself. And especially with the one I've got, I think there's a high chance in it recurring. How many times have you done your hamstring before? And have you ever done it this bad before? Oh, I've actually done it worse than this. So when I was like 22, 23, I couldn't get my, one of my hammies right. And do you know what I was guilty of then? Like I was so keen to get back when you're young and naive and you don't see the bigger picture sometimes. I was so desperate to get back and play. And I remember there was pressure on me from the manager who put it on the physio. The physio then put pressure on me saying like, we've got to speed up the rehab. And what would have been maybe like a six week injury ended up being like a three, four month recurring nil that I just could not get rid of. It's not a Q&A. <laughs> okay, so how's the injury affected your mental health? Have you managed to stay positive? You know when you get the news the first day and you find out it's bad, it's actually hard to stay positive about things, but two, three days go by and then I'm just straight in that mode of, all right, this is now an opportunity for me to really work on my strength, work on my fitness and come back 
when I am ready even better than I was before I got injured. That's how you got to look at it because if you um, start feeling sorry for yourself, coming every day, down, disheartened, you're not going to put the work in and you'll end up worse off than before you got injured. So that's the way I've always looked at it, you know. It's not a time to just like rest up now. Just use this to really work on things that you couldn't when you were playing game after game, like heavy legs and whatnot, and um, try and come back firing. What a day for it, by the way. To the gym. Good, Max. Paul. Oh. oh First time I've spoken to a dog. That's all my warm up and pre up stuff done. Straight into the hamstring loading now. I'm just gonna do five exercises, introduce the muscle back into some strength work, and then I'll be done for the day. hamstring session done fully loaded the hammies today first time in a while so they're gonna be real domsy tomorrow um, gotta get back ice them now control the inflammation look here's my little friends the cleaners Laurel's dog lovely little boy um, but yeah it feels good to know that I'm that one step closer to being back fully fit so buzzing with that all right gym done great first session back um, look at that, the sun's still shining. Our training ground's actually getting dug up at the minute. Don't know if you can see, but what they're doing now, digging it all up and relaying it with a new, brand new surface, brand new pitches, all ready for next season. So, even more of a motivation to get back and get out there. Um, but yeah, let's get ourselves home. Quickly ice. 20 minutes on that and then just chill for the evening probably get on a normal text chill out and just recover in time for tomorrow got another big session tomorrow we won't be running as of yet but i'll be loading the hammies again and just a bit of treatment with the physio So rehab done, um, now down at the stadium, 
Uh, the boys. We've got a uh, we've got a photo session today. We weren't as we get at the beginning of the season because of COVID and whatnot. So it feels good to have the kit back on though. So that's the photo shoot done. I wasn't actually able to eat down at the training ground today because we had our photos done at the stadium. So I'm actually outside one of my favorite restaurants now. I'm gonna treat myself to a Fago. I ordered a, uh, a superfood salad and a green smoothie. So I'll have that for lunch today. It's nice to just change it up as well, you know, um, instead of eating at the ground every day. Do you know what? Whenever I walk in on the counter as well, they've always got laid out in front of me homemade cakes and pastries and lovely little treats, but it's a shame I can't have one. Oh, you're right, mate. I've got an order for Ryan Tavazzoli. So good seeing people um, being able to eat outside again now as well. Look how healthy that salad is. It's got everything you need. Avocado, roasted butternut squash, peppers, tomato, tender stem broccoli, quinoa, and it's even topped with chia seeds and flax seeds. Gosh, could eat this every day. This is so nice, by the way. Melon, strawberries, spinach, mango, and fresh apple juice all just blended into, um, into a shake. I'm gonna get home now. I'll eat my lunch and probably just chill out for the rest of the day, get ready for another rehab session tomorrow. Um, before I go though, if any of you guys have any football related questions, get down in the comments below, ask me something and I'll pick one of them out for the next video and try and answer it as best as I can. So, see you guys in a bit. So the physio is absolutely delighted with how the hamstring's healing. Um, said it's progressing a lot quicker than we first expected it would be. So today I've actually got a massive session. I've got um, a hamstring session for the first time, really gonna load the hamstring with hamstring specific exercises. I'm just having my breakfast now. I've got a big breakfast in front of me. As you can see, bowl of oats, lowering glycemic index, but it's gonna provide me energy all throughout the day. I'm gonna be at the training ground for a long time today, so I need that. Got my standard superfood smoothie, high in protein, high in vegetables, high in antioxidants, a bit of fruit in there. Apple cider vinegar shots, great for digestion. Have one of these every morning, and also turmeric shot with raw ginger. Done me um, absolute wonders so far. Couldn't couldn't recommend these highly enough. They um, they've really helped with the uh, the inflammation to to settle that down early doors, so we can start really um, increasing strength in the hamstring and basically it's just really helped with the uh, the reparation phase so couldn't recommend them highly enough anyway i'm gonna have this now get to the training grounds and let's get into this hamstring session oh mate Fuck. i absolutely killed myself didn't i 